Anshul Ravi I want to ask you one question uh, because repeatedly over the last 24 hours, what's come from the Congress camp, uh, uh, Anshul Avijit, is that this is political gimmickry. It's right before elections and this is a jumla. But having said that, you know, I just want to take you through on what's happening in election bound states uh, in Rajasthan, in Madhya Pradesh. Forget about Madhya Pradesh because those are promises. But let me tell you what's going on in the state of Rajasthan. I'm quite sure, Anshul Abhijit, you're aware of the Gehloth Guarantee Card. You're aware of the La Bharati Utsav. You're aware of uh, the 650 LPG subsidy where it comes down to Rajasthan. So if this is election gimmickry, then that what you're doing is also election gimmickry. And somewhere down the line, how unfortunate it might be, it's par for the course. It happens every election. You do it all the time. Uh, Preeti, we have an unerring habit of actually fulfilling election promises. Today also, um, you should mention the Greha Lakshmi scheme in Karnataka that was launched today. It was an election promise along with five others that actually got implemented today. It is a scheme that helps women at the time of extreme economic distress. Let's not forget that. You know, inflation is at an all-time high at 7.44%. You've got unemployment at an all-time high. Manufacturing has slumped completely. Your capacity utilization is barely 75%. Even though the finance minister, I don't know what agency she has. I don't think she has any agency to maneuver because everything comes out of the PMO. But even then, today she said, after eight years, that somehow industry is moving. People are investing. Nobody's investing. Industry is still deleveraging. Manufacturing is slumped. That's why you have unemployment so high. At a time like this, you are filling, the government is filling its coffers by this unremitting rise in excise duties of fuel. Let's not forget that. It's been doing it for the past so many years. And of gas prices. And by bringing it down for two, uh, 200 rupees, it think it's, a, it's some sort of a gift. Is this a cruel joke on this country? Okay. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I mean, this is a cruel joke. I mean, I would even call it a sleight of hand if it was not so clunky. All right, right? okay, but, but, but Anshul Avijit, what hand is Mr. Gehloth dealing in Rajasthan then? We have given, we said we will do an urban Emirega because you unemployment have done, you've given is a so sub, high. You've given a 650 rupee LPG subsidy, Anshul Avijit, in Rajasthan. You know, was that a poll? One second, sir. Was that a poll promise? No. It's happened three months before election, yes. The Gehloth Guarantee Card has been distributed of... six months before election, yes. Look, central co uh, it's our fiscal policy that is governing price rise of this government. They've completely failed at controlling anything to do with the economy. After Note Bandi, the economy was actually thrown under a bus. It's been completely wrecked. The government hasn't a clue how to do it because it's full of amateurs. Right. So the state governments have therefore to compensate and give measures, whether whether it's through elections, through promises or through schemes that come in between its idea of governance. We should not forget governance. Right. Okay. And it has been state governments time and again, whether it's Chhattisgarh or whether it's Karnataka now, whether it's been Rajasthan. Let's not forget the health guarantee scheme in in Rajasthan, which is c c revolutionary. Right. A okay. number of schemes have come up to help the people at a time of extreme economic okay. distress by the okay. mismanagement of the government. All right. Fair point. I want to cut across right now to Sardar R.P. Singh. Sardar R.P. Singh, sir, you have come on my show repeatedly. Your spokespersons from your party have come on our show repeatedly and have always said one thing. There is no inflation. The numbers suggest India economy is at an all-time high. Now, one can turn around and say Geloth is doing it in Rajasthan. But the counter to that is the Congress has admitted that inflation is at an all-time high. So what the Rajasthan government is trying to do as per the Congress is trying to take the burden away from the people of, say, the state like Rajasthan. If there is no inflation, if the economy is flying high, uh, then what's the need of a subsidy on LPG, Sardar R.P. saying? First, understand what is the inflation rate in Rajasthan, and let's understand the countrywide average and understand the inflation in Rajasthan. Inflation in Rajasthan is 9.5% today and has been throughout like that, and I guess in the country throughout. There's the state of the affair in Rajasthan. I mean, that's where Rajasthan goes. And as far as the poll promises goes, let me remind you, if you want to just dig out the video before the debate show gets over, uh, Mr. Rahul Gandhi was there in, in, uh, during the election, and he said, We'll waive our farmers' loan. Today, farmers are being beaten by the beaten in, in when they protest, their their lands are being taken by the government and, and, and uh, or the banks. So this is the state of affairs as far as the promises goes. Karnataka. 
their ministers, their MLAs are making hue and cry that they don't have money for development. You are taking away all the development okay. money for, for, for promises which you have made, which will be half fulfilled or not fulfilled. We, we still need, uh, see, see it on the ground. But the fact is that 40,000 crore rupees of the development fund has been transferred to what? To for, uh, the uh, poor promises. Thirdly, let's understand. What was the UPA regime uh, gas prices? Let's, let's go by year by year. 2009, it was 710 rupees, then 877, then 922, then uh, 1021, and last it was 1241. This was the state of affairs during UPA regime. And what has been the average price in our regime okay. has been 762 rupees, 80% of the average price. But that's not the issue. Issue is taking care of people, uh, taking care of the uh, poorest of poorest, there is no harm in it. And in their regime, Dhenuka Chaudhary's video is in social media. I, I, I'll, I'll play it uh, uh, before the show ends. She's saying, Are Grieve Army, Thora Gaska Center use Karta. Grieve Army comes to Gaska Center. Give me a second. No, you Grieve Army Gaska Center comes to use Karta. This is Dhenuka Chaudhary saying in a press conference when she was asked if uh, the price of the cylinder has increased to 900 rupees. She said, Oh, Grieve Army Thora use Karta. Today, more than 11 crore women will get gas cylinder. Under the Prime Minister's Ujura scheme, there's the difference. Okay, but Sardar R.P. Singh, you're a party with a difference. No, you're not the UPA you've always maintained. The NDA has, is nothing like the UPA you've always maintained. You've done way better. So for a party which till about two months ago were calling every this Ravdi, how does Ravdi get converted into a Rakhi gift so soon? Give me a second. This is specifically, basically, for all those poor women who users who have started using gas cylinder for the first time. They never used to have the gas cylinder. They used to use the wood and then would suffer cancer because of that. And its number is 11 crore household. And in each house, there will be one or two women, more than one woman who will use the, uh, the stove now. Right. The, the new LPG stove. So, Sardar, I'll be saying you admit, give me a second. you admit, you, for the either there was inflation, Either there was inflation, which was very high, especially when it came down to LPG gas cylinders, that's required the need of the slashing of 200 rupees and then 200 extra for the Ujwa, under the Ujwala Yojana. Either you admit there was, or you admit that there wasn't, then why? PT, as I said, concern is the poor woman who, okay. who has shifted from wood stock, burning wood, or other means to gas to better alternative for their good health. This is a contribution okay. for but, their good health. But Sadar, are saying this contribution has been, suddenly it's been realized that it's a contribution.